Are you guys familiar with a little merry group called the Proud Boys? You might have heard of them. They are, uh, they've repeatedly been called white supremacists and Nazis, and, well, I can't really argue against those accusations. They say, seem to be true. Um, they tend to go armed to pro progressive protests in attempts to sort of escalate it into violence, and their whole idea is that they're like a uh, men-only right-wing um, sort of fascist far-right drinking club, as they like to call themselves. But their whole thing is they, they send guys who are armed and tough over to protests in order to intimidate left-wing people. The whole point is sort of to um, scare progressives into not engaging in political action. And the leader of the Proud Boys goes by the name of Gavin McInnes. And Gavin McInnes is a very, very, very well-known Nazi. People are very aware of his political opinions. He doesn't exactly hide them, nor is he ashamed of them. He's quite open about it. However, Gavin McInnes, the leader and founder of the Proud Boys, has a long, long, long and storied history. A long and storied history indeed. And, um, well, ironically enough, uh, he used to run or be a large part of a YouTube channel, uh, a right-wing media outlet called Rebel News. And uh, back in 2015, when Gamergate started to get a lot of attention, Gavin McInnes decided to speak on it. Now, something you have to understand is back then, the boomer side of conservative media hadn't really fully melded with the Zoomer side of conservative media. They were still kind of at odds with each other. Nowadays, you've got the boomers complaining about cancel culture just as much as the Zoomers are. Um, but back then, there was sort of a disconnect. So this is a clip that in hindsight, regardless, Gavin McInnes doesn't want you to see. All right, if you're watching right now and you're a proud boy or you're someone who, um, you're, you're, a, you're a white man, you like to play video games, you care about Gamergate, this is the video that Gavin McInnes, founder of the Proud Boys, does not want you to see. So let's go ahead and watch. Hashtag Gamergate, adults shouldn't be playing video games anyway. Let's watch. So my buddy Nero got his second bomb threat this week. The first one was uh, a while ago in DC, and it was at a journalism conference where he was discussing Gamergate. This week, it was another journalism conference in Miami, and they were again talking uh, Gamergate. This was with the factual feminist C.H. Summers. And for those of you who are normal adults... Oh, uh, yeah, for those that, that don't know, uh, Christina Hoff Summers, or C.H. Summers, is a uh, pretty well-known turf. Oh yeah, this is before Milo got outed as like uh, pro pedophilia, right? Isn't like back in 2015, Milo was like really growing in popularity, and people didn't know that he liked when little boys get diddled by grown men, <laughs> and he got canceled by the right and lost his career. Good times. You probably don't know that Gamergate is the idea that feminism and political correctness should work its way into video games. The gamers. That's a movement. Guys who play video games have a name for themselves. The gamers fought back and said, no, your PC doesn't belong in our world. And Summers and Nero say the same thing. This got a bomb threat both times. This time, though, they managed to get most of the talk out, but the bomb threat dispersed the crowd. Some angry social justice warrior against free speech doesn't want this being discussed, so they discussed it outside after they got bomb threaded out. There's a layer of... Path you know... Is, it's really funny looking back in, to, like, old videos from 2015, 2016, like the classic anti-SJW days, and seeing how the big narrative from the right was always, like, the left doesn't like free speech, the left is against this or that, the left is violent, yada, yada, yada. And now current-day conservatives are defending an attempt to fucking siege the Capitol building they complain about cancel culture, which, say what you want, at the end of the day, is just people exercising their freedom of speech to voice their dislike for somebody. That's really all cancel culture is. Patheticness here, though, that no one is talking about. Namely, 
I don't care if video games are sexist or not sexist or politically correct. Video games are for little kids. Why are adults playing video games? My brother-in-law got my kids a Batman game for, uh, for Christmas. They can't play it. It's for adults only. Batman? <laughs> when I was a little kid, we watched Batman on TV because we wanted to be tough and fight bad guys. Now you're 32 and you're sitting there, I'm Batman, I, I'm Superman, I can fly. Look at my Wolverine shirt. He has claws. You read comic books? That is for people who are special, okay? The, the, in the old days, you lived in the basement because you were mentally handicapped. When we saw 12-year-olds playing Star Wars with 9-year-olds, we went, poor bastard, oh well. Uh, I guess he'll be living with his mommy forever. Now that's cool. Now you want to argue about it. Now guys are Well, I, I don't know if it's cool. It's certainly not cool. I don't think anybody is going to argue that living in your basement with a bunch of Star Wars figures is cool. Um, I don't think the opinion on that has changed much. But uh, I would... Do I need to respond to, like, do I have to actually defend the rights of gamers here? Is Has my time finally come? Are we actually doing a segment where we talk about gamer rights? Are we defending the gamers? Is it about time? You know what? It's about time we had a little equality on this channel, don't you think, guys? Maybe a little bit of equality? All right, I'm doing it. I have defended the rights of trans people, I've defended the rights of POC, I've defended the rights of religious minorities and, and, and sexual and gender identities all around everywhere. I've defended all sorts of people's rights to exist and, and, to, and to pursue happiness and whatnot in this, in this country. However, I think it's time. It's time I extend that same charitability over to the gamers. We're defending the gamers. All right. We're taking down Gavin McInnes' arguments just like we're taking down a right-wing reactionary's arguments against trans people, okay? So let's go over this. What's he have to say about gamers? Let's take it apart piece by piece. When I was a little... I don't care if video games are sexist or not sexist or politically correct. Video games are for little kids. Why are adults playing video games? My All right. We'll start with that one, okay? All right, let's, um, actually, let's draw a similar medium. Let's draw a comparison to a similar medium. Animation. Many people think animation is for children, right? I mean, cartoons, like uh, Tom and Jerry, uh, 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 list cartoons, the Flintstones, uh, uh, fucking... My mind's blanking. Imagine cartoons, okay? You would probably imagine, yeah, cartoons... All right, yeah, uh, animation, that's for kids, right? But then again, you probably wouldn't let your six-year-old kid watch South Park or Family Guy or Rick and Morty, probably, because these are adult animations. Just like there are video games for children, there are video games for adults. There are video games that contain lots of violence and blood and gore and sex and war and rape and very, very dark kind of messages there are movie there are games that feel more like movies like the last of us that basically a zombie survival movie are there games for children absolutely are there games for adults yes there are it's a hobby at the end of the day if you make if all you do at all in your life is live in a basement and play video games all day you're probably kind of a loser if you're just, like, living in your mom's basement playing video games all day yeah you're probably a fucking loser but if you're just some guy mid-30s, comes home from work, takes off the tie, sits down on the couch, and plays a little bit of, I don't know, Call of Duty when you get home. I, I don't think that person is a loser, right? This is also kind of relevant, but one of the Proud Boys initiation rites involves people yelling the name of children's uh, cereal while being punched repeatedly, like middle school courtyard shit. Y yeah, yeah, Pillow, I know. They, they kind of treat it like the hazing for some kind of... Um, college fraternity type thing. My brother-in-law got my kids a Batman game for, uh, for Christmas. They can't play it. It's for adults only. Batman? Well, well, they can play it. Uh, it's not like there's a biometric scanner on the controller that says, no, you can't play if you're a child. Um, though there is a rating on it, and the game recommends... It's probably rated T, right? It's probably not rated M. Is it? The Batman Arkham games? 
it's because Batman eats pussy in the game. Does he? I think he actually might in that particular game. I think he does eat, eat some pussy. Um, they're T, they're rated T. I think there's like implication that he does, but regardless, um, yeah, they're rated T because there's violence and blood and like sexual references and stuff. I, the kid could still play it, but they're advised to be played by adults. <laughs> when I was a little kid, we watched Batman on TV because we wanted to be tough and fight bad guys. Now you're 32 and you're sitting there. I just like, I am. It's like, um, has he never seen like the Dark Knight Rises or whatever? Like the really classic Batman, not the really classic, but like the Batman movies from like over a decade ago that everybody likes. Um, with like Heath Ledger's Joker and everything. Everybody fucking liked those movies. You wouldn't compare those. Like, you wouldn't compare those movies to like Adam West's Batman. You know what I mean? I'm Batman. I, I'm Superman. I can fly. Look at my Wolverine shirt. He has claws. You read comic books? That is for people who are special, okay? The, the, in the old days, you lived in the basement because you were mentally handicapped. Oh, I should point out, by the way, this video came out so long ago, it got ratioed to fucking hell. You might think 2.4K. I, there's still, I still have a dislike on this video from, like, 2016 when I came to dislike this video because, ironically enough, the Gamer Gators fucking bombarded this video so fucking much the gamer gators sent this video i disliked this video back when i was a gamer gator this video had like right wingers dunking on gavin mcginnis like crazy and then i imagine what happened was he very quickly realized oh fuck i can't be saying things like this or my conservative audience of 15 year old white boys that like to play video games and complain about minorities are going to stop watching my content he quit that shit out, and now he's, uh, now all those same people that he called, he basically called them retarded, all right? And I'm using that word in quotes because that's what he's calling them. When he says, oh, you read comic books? That's for people who are special. He's calling them the arsler. That's what he's doing. And now those same people who back in 2015 he was calling the Arsler more or less has 25,000 dislikes. Yeah, you can't see anymore because the new upload. Um, at like five years later, now, or not even five years later, what is it now? Uh, six years later, uh, everyone's completely forgotten about it. Nobody cares. Gavin McInnes, friend of the right. Fan base of overwhelmingly... 15-year-old gamer boys. When we saw 12-year-olds playing Star Wars with 9-year-olds, we went, poor bastard, oh well. Uh, I guess he'll be living with his mommy forever. Now that's cool! Now you want to argue about it. Now guys are online with their headsets yelling at 12-year-olds saying, Come back out! I want to kill you! I want to shoot you with the, my nerd drawing gun! And you're a nerd drawing too! Oh, I know, because you don't want to come kill us. You have no guns. It's okay. Oh, too many no, we're money, pissed. Though. Oh, you're so pissed. It's okay. Hey, adult males. Hey, dads. You're supposed to know stuff. You're supposed to know how things work. You're supposed to know how to fix a fridge. You're supposed to be able to get a piece. You're supposed to be building a table or something. Yes. You know, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite YouTubers out there is Woody's Gamer Tag. He he runs PK, my favorite podcast. Talk about it a lot. Woody's Gamer Tag is uh, one of the OG YouTubers. He's got over a million subs. He was one of the big like original call of duty commentator youtubers from back in the late 2000s like just uh, oh like from like oh nine to like 2013 he just fucking blew up and he was big in the commentary community for call of duty and um nowadays his whole thing is that he's like this uh he's got two kids a wife he's got a big house in north carolina he he paramotors he builds shit he's got a woodworking shop he's got like uh i think he's got like a shit ton of acres of property um you know he's like he does, you know, the podcast, he plays video games, but also he's like the stereotypical works with his hands, likes to mow Hank Hill kind of dad sort of guy, right? I don't think that uh, enjoying some video games on the side means you can't do any of the things he just listed. I mean, I, I know for a fact that it doesn't. Yes, we watch TV sometimes. Yes, we indulge ourselves in movies. Sometimes we even read fiction. I don't read fiction, but I get that sometimes you do that. That happens occasionally, and when you're wasting time... Wait, I think I... Dude, okay, I think this guy is, like, against the idea of, um... Oh, wait, this actually makes sense. Okay, 
So here's a little lesson on fascism, okay? So if you are an enjoyer of the politics of Gavin McInnes, I want to tell you that Gavin McInnes's politics, the world that he wants to see um, brought to fruition, is one motivated by his politics, okay? If you feel as though you want to get behind Gavin McInnes and push his narrative and push for his worldview, you will find yourself in a world, if you succeed, which you won't, but if you do, you would find yourself in a world in which any fiction media isn't allowed because it's labeled degenerate art and it's burned. Any books, movies, videos, video games, anything like that that's fictional, things that aren't considered to be part of the the, the um, hyper-masculinized um, machismo society that's pushed for by fascists will be burned and destroyed and will be labeled degenerate art. Do you want to know why I know that? It's because that's exactly what the Nazis did. The Nazis, any media that had gay people in it, any like fictional media that, that had messages that, they, that the Nazis didn't agree with, any media that featured progressive themes of any kind they labeled it degenerate art they burned it and they punished anyone who was caught consuming it it's ironic how many of these same people that we call nazis today also happen to complain incessantly about progressive messages in art at all they lose their shit over it they make channels based on screaming and complaining about any progressive messaging in media very similar to the Nazis complaining about degenerate art back in the uh, 1940s and 1930s. I'm watching a show, that's a vice, it should be discouraged. It's not something to be proud of. You don't go, I'm a watch tv -er. get out of here. I'm, uh, there's a bomb threat at my watch TV conference. What the fuck? Put down the console, you grown man baby. It's embarrassing. Put down the console. Embarrassing. Anyway, my man got blown the fuck out because of this, as you can see. Grown men posting whiny videos on YouTube. Go build a table. I'm not... If I'm not allowed to play video games, then you're not allowed to watch sports. Only kids can play sports. Gosh, throwing a ball around is childish. Adults shouldn't be blank anyway. Watching TV, playing golf, hanging out at a bar, going to see movies, reading sci-fi novels, working on their car. I like this video. I like how this video is more controversial than his political stuff. Nothing... Yeah, that is true. Okay. Only on YouTube can a video where you where you make fun of gamers be more controversial than videos where you talk about like black people being subhuman and the gays being evil. Only on YouTube do you get a bigger ratio for shit talking gaming than you do for promoting racism. Anyway, yeah, I just want to say this right now, okay? If you are a white, male, cisgender, straight, tradition loving white man, and you're interested in the far-right politics peddled by the likes of uh, Gavin McInnes, but you also enjoy video games and movies and, and, and certain types of art that maybe this man doesn't agree with, then just know the world you're pushing for politically is one in which we won't have games like The Witcher 3. You can't. You think if fascists ruled the world, we'd have video games like The Witcher 3? Of course we wouldn't. You think we'd have games like Skyrim or like fucking uh, Dark Souls or Elden Ring or any of the games or Minecraft? You think things like that? Do you think the Nazis would have liked Minecraft as a concept? Now, don't get me wrong. Notch is a crazy son of a bitch and he made Minecraft. But the Nazis, the like actual fascists, the types of people like Gavin McInnes, like... Notch is just a dumb fuck who has some, like, right-wing QAnon opinions. Gavin McGinnis is a neo-Nazi. He's all on board with the white supremacist anti-Semitic stuff, okay? Do you think the Nazis would have liked Minecraft? I know it sounds similar to Mein Kampf, but I promise you, the idea of creativity um, outside of a, a very certain line of bounds of, of social acceptiveness, the Nazis wouldn't have liked Minecraft very much. Uh, okay, so if you like Minecraft, then you shouldn't like the Nazis, okay? <laughs> Nazis would fuck with Notch. Uh, well, the Nazis would absolutely like Notch's politics, don't get me wrong, but they would not be a fan of the game he created. Um, the Nazis were not very big on creativity, um, outside of, like, very hard, rigid lines. They were very much against, um, any art that had progressive values. They called it degenerate art. They were against any modern art. Um, or postmodern, certainly. <laughs>